right, space peeps, there's something really insane happening outside across not only the entire Midwest of the United States, but in Canada and parts of Europe, and it's called the polar vortex. The first time I heard of that, I was like, is that even on our planet? So it's literally like a giant cyclone of just like snow and winter bitterness that's just hitting parts of our globe that hasn't normally experienced these types of temperatures. It's coming far down from the Arctic and it's actually hitting um, land. It's hitting places where we actually have civilizations rather than rather than just staying in like the northern ice caps. Um, whereas places like where I am right now, which is Los Angeles, we're getting insane thunderstorms. I mean, like you don't even see, I was covered before in, tr in rain just from stepping outside to do laundry. But that's not the point. So I'm bringing up polar vortexes because not only is this interesting that it's happening, but um, well, because it made me think of space, because everything makes me think of space. And more specifically, it made me think of Neptune. So like, Neptune. <laughs> yes, I literally just pulled Neptune out of a drawer. No, actually it was sitting on my desk. But um, this is Neptune. Say hi to Neptune. So um, Neptune, which is uh, the eighth planet from the sun, it's one of the furthest planets. Um, some may debate that it's the final planet of the sun, of the other solar system, or, or that it's not Pluto, whatever, we're not gonna talk about it. So um, Neptune, the reason I'm bringing up Neptune is because it has a giant, has vortices on the entire thing, but has a giant cyclone on it in its atmosphere. So on it that you can literally see. Yeah, that's actually right there. So this is, oh no, stop spinning. Wait, hold on. This is a MOVA globe. So it spins. It's powered by, by solar energy, um, but I'm trying to spin it towards you guys and it wants, to, it wants to hide from the camera. Why do you want to hide from the camera? Okay, anyway, there we go. So that's the great red spot. So that actually was first noticed in 1989 um, by the Voyager 2 mission when it did a flyby and it actually captured an image of the great dark spot. And it's a giant cyclone that's happening in Neptune's atmosphere. And what I mean by that is the speeds are like extremely fast. And um, I wanted to talk about it because we're finding something funny out on Neptune. Actually, in 2016, there was uh, recent images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope that showed other dark spots around the entire planet's atmosphere. So they actually found that there's other vortices that are happening. And um, it's fascinating because when you look at this, if I can get this thing to turn around, I mean, again, it's, it's, it's a MOVA globe, so it's meant to stay stationary and it turns with you. There we go, now it's turning, okay. So you'll notice all these white parts, and this is actually very, a very accurate depiction, by the way. So this is great imagery. So as it comes around, you'll notice these little white things right around the dark spot. Those are actually lenticular clouds. And what happens is they start to um, accrete from just like uh, everything that's nearby surrounding the, the dark spot itself because it is a, like a giant cyclone, it's a vortex. Um, it actually starts to circle around it. It's all nearby um, atmospheric uh, clouds. Now that we've actually observed multiple vortices, then you actually have you know lots and lots of these that are happening. You're seeing dark spots continuously. In contrast to the great red spot, which is on Jupiter. The great red spot on Jupiter has been observed for centuries. It actually hasn't changed much. It is massive. It has been there for a long, long time. And it first was observed actually in the 1800s. Um, there are ideas and stuff that actually might have been observer, observed even sooner um, when Galileo was making observations of Jupiter. But the first actual collected um, visual observation through a telescope was actually in the 1800s. And it's so fascinating to me because when you think about it, with what's happening right now with the polar vortex is you have these like, you know, insane spins and, and clouds that's spinning on our entire planet. I mean, our planet is filled with, you know, constant, um, environmental impacts, you know, and, and it's constantly evolving and there's so many things that are, that are happening with it. And we have, we have experienced such dramatic, um, changes in, in our, in our climate. So if you look at something like on, you know, Neptune, which is so far, further out from the sun, it is freezing. You want to talk about cold temperatures. You guys think you're cold out here on earth? Well, guess how cold Neptune is. Alexa, how cold is Neptune? 
Neptune's average temperature is minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit and its surface temperature is minus 353.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, no. I'm not going there anytime soon. On that note, enjoy the rest of the polar vortex. Bye, guys! Oh, and I love that you guys are watching this, by the way. If you guys love this, please give me a subscribe and hit that little bell. I'm going to be making a lot more videos soon. I'm actually going to be traveling quite a lot uh, throughout the country. So you're going to be seeing some really epic space places. I'm going to be going to them. I'm going to be interviewing. I'm going to be showing you all around the United States. And then very, very soon, looking to do some overseas trips. Cough, cough, can I say a Cape Town? Anyway, all right, I love you guys so much. You guys are awesome space peeps, woo! I'm just happy I don't have the flu anymore. Oh my gosh. All right, okay, I'll talk to you guys soon.